Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. Sorry, I just find this funny. There is uh, rejoicing, much rejoicing, much happiness in North Lanarkshire today as the SNP were given a right scalping. You see, their, their candidate, Joseph Budd, an obnoxious individual filled with hate, anti-English, anti-unionist, there's probably people in his own family he can't stand, was beaten massively. Uh, the Labour candidate got 51%, I think it was, uh, on the first count. It didn't even need to go to the second preferential vote. Uh, it just, they just got straight in. They were great. Fantastic. And I said in advance, if Labour didn't win this, I'd eat my hat. Of course, Labour were always going to win it. It is a massive test. Uh, the SNP have failed. Hamza Yousaf has failed, particularly at the first hurdle. It's his first vote, and he wasn't just beaten. He was absolutely thrashed. He was, he was shown what the people of Scotland think of the SNP now. And this will be repeated in council election after by-election, after general election, after Scottish government election. They will be ha basically handed their own R's on the plate. You know, it'll be out there and they'll have that. And it is wonderful to behold. And they can't spin this in any other way because it wasn't a close run thing. It was an absolutely humiliating defeat. He is failing. The SNP are failing and Scotland will be much better off for it. We'll have a look at this article um, and then we will just <laughs> laugh, laugh and then laugh some more. Here goes. So Hamza Yousaf humiliated the SNP trashed in North Lanarkshire as Yousaf fails his first electoral test miserably. And it couldn't have happened to a nicer guy. Scottish Labour rubbed home with the seat vacated by shamed Jordan Linden, where the SNP leader had personally campaigned. Now, there was four reasons. I'm going to give you four reasons why Labour would, uh, why, why the SNP were never going to win it, why Labour were. Number one, Hamza Yousaf is the leader of the SNP, and everyone knows he's a moronic buffoon who hasn't got a clue. He's failed at everything. Number two, their candidate, uh, Joe Budd, is uh, an absolute hate-filled misogynist, um, anti-English, anti-union. There's probably people in his own family he doesn't like. Uh, and he, he, he's posted stuff on social media that, you know, in any other respect would be seen as hate speech. Horrible individual, number two. Number three, of course, the SNP members that were on the council. One of them was fired off for being a bit touchy-feely. I've done the videos over that. Uh, and that's still an ongoing thing because it's not just the one that the SNP claimed. Um, I was given information which I couldn't tell and then I could because it had broken. I went, thank God I can talk about it. But it's actually bigger than it is. There's more to come on that story, let me tell you. Uh, and then, of course, fourthly, all the uh, all the actual remaining SNP members resigned because they were so sickened of what the SNP were doing. You lost an entire council because of the cover-ups and the, and the filth and dirt in the SNP. And people locally on the ground in La uh, North Lanarkshire, they knew this. And that is why they were never, ever going to vote SNP. Even SNP voters were so sickened that they had to go and vote Labour. And vote and vote Labour. Oh boy, they certainly did. So anyway, getting into this. Hamza Yousaf has failed his first electoral test by a massive margin. And it is, uh, as the SNP were thrashed by Labour in the Bells Hill by-election. The First Minister had personally campaigned in the ward where a seat had become available after the resignation of shamed Jordan Linden. And, uh, and his story is set to run. Uh, when, the, when the police um, finish their investigation, charges will definitely fall, I think, on Jordan Linden. But others may well be questioned over it. Uh, anyway, Nat candidate Joseph Budd trailed behind Labour's Anne McCrory. She won 1,440 first preference votes, or 51.8, nearly 52% of the total. That's a notional gain of 13 uh, percent she was elected at the first stage of the council she didn't have to go to the uh, the sort of second preference vote thing that they have with the proportional representation uh, and so that was it. it was done on the first count the the, the 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 counters in the town hall must have been pleased with that boom done out home you know get still get paid for it uh, anyway um mr bud limped home with just 27.1 753 votes as the SNP lost almost 14% of their vote. And the by-election was seen as a key indicator of what might happen at the general election, 
with large swathes of former Labour heartlands like North Lanarkshire, North, North Lanarkshire even, tipped to turn red once more. Labour are going to romp home in so many seats. I mean, look at that. 51% to, 14, uh, to, to 27%. That's a 14... 20, that's a 27% swing from SNP to Labour. When that comes up at the uh, general election, whenever that should be, that would more or less wipe the SNP off the map at Westminster. That swing, of course, won't be um, the swing across the whole country. That vote was specific to North Lanarkshire and was specific to the history of what had happened in North Lanarkshire. But I think the writing is definitely, definitely on the wall that uh, Labour are on the march uh, and that the SNP are diminishing in people's minds. Um, all the things that they go on and, and do and, and get wrong, continually get wrong, um, will will come home and, and it's going to bite them. They're going to hurt and they're going to lose seats. Uh, and that's that can't be a bad thing given the, what they've done for the last 16 years. Anyway, um, to continue, it will pile pressure on the First Minister who has endured a miserable time as SNP leader since winning the role in March. Is it only three months? <sighs> so much has happened. So much has gone wrong. Wow. And it's only, th yeah, the first hundred days. It's a hundred days of hell, isn't it, for him? Uh, anyway, uh, the Tories also saw, saw their vote share dip by 5.1% to finish on 8.5%. They were never going to win. Uh, and of course, with the very uh, useless uh, Tory government now that's actually hurting people with their policies, that is not a surprise. Uh, it was a humiliating night for Alaba and the Greens, who were both beaten by the relatively new British Unionist Party. <gasps> no! Wow! And they only stuck. That's like a couple of people in the back of a shed. Anyway, announcing the result, North Lanarkshire Council returning officer Des Murray said, I would like to congratulate Anne McCrory on her election and I look forward to seeing her at the next council meeting. The turnout was low at just 22.7%. Even so, even so, that man has just been handed his arse on a plate. And he knows it. And he will have people around this morning. There will be a discussion. Uh, there will be, you know, much mooting around about what went wrong. Well, I can tell you, Two of the things that went wrong are in that picture. Hamza Yousaf and Joe Budd in the background. That's what went wrong. That's two of the things. Uh, and having, um, you know, Jordan Linden, a man whose crimes were covered up by the SNP, um, it isn't looking good for you. And it won't look good at the next one or the one after that. It will continue. It will be a whole series of defeats now. Uh, and slowly people are finding out exactly what the SNP are. Isn't it delicious? Isn't it fantastic? I shall come up. Every election now, we will be watching like a hawk because we know they're going to lose. The question now isn't whether they're going to lose or not. It is the size of their defeat, the swing away from the SNP. They may win one or two seats, but I think even in the seats where they do win, their majorities will be massively sliced. I mean, it is pretty bad for them. Uh, and, it, and they're only getting what they deserve. No party should deserve, you know, that that level of, of autonomy for 16 years when they're backed up by the courts, backed up by the police. I mean, effectively a private policing service now for them because they've seen they seem to have this much power. They need to get out. And now the tide is turning. People have had enough. You can't keep failing upwards. Uh, and people in Scotland now are seeing that. And certainly the people of North Lanarkshire Ladies and gentlemen, we applaud you. You have led the fight back. You have led the first charge into a massive battle that will take place over the course of the next two, three years. Seat after seat, election after election. And you fought the first battle and you won. The people of Scotland owe you a debt. So the people of North Lanarkshire, please take a humble bow and take the applause from the rest of the people in Scotland who are now seeing that it is possible to break the SNP. And I shall finish there. Thank you very much for watching on this wonderful, wonderful day. Uh, and I don't just mean that it's very sunny outside, which it is, it's already hot. Uh, I just mean this wonderful news up there in North Lanarkshire. Uh, until next time, stay safe, stay well. Please, God, keep voting for anyone other than the SNP. And we will see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye.